Hello folks, time for another video, but not a shave. <laughs> All right, I was tagged in a tag video from uh, Elmer Fudd on uh, YouTube, AKA Todd, I'm not gonna give you his last name in case he doesn't want to be known. <laughs> anyway, he had a uh, 54321 tag video. Um, how it goes is it's five soaps. I'm actually reading this off a little note I have over here. Five soaps. Your favorite soaps, four post shaves, three brushes, two razors, and one blade. So here we go for 2019. Um, so as far as my five soaps, it's kind of really tough because I have a lot of soaps. But my number one soap for me, and it's been this for actually a couple years, is Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements. Organism 46B. Oh, there you go. Now, this is my number one uh, scent-wise, too. Great performance. Uh, it smells like a Tootsie Pop to me. Now, this is my number one soap. The other, my other four are kind of like, they can go in any other direction. Um, but my next one down will be Taylor Olban, Grapefruit. Gotta love the grapefruit. I mean, it smells like a freshly cut grapefruit. Hmm. So this would be like my number four. Even though, like it says, my next couple choices are like, it doesn't matter which way. Now, my number three would be Zingari Nomad. I actually just shaved with this in my last video. <laughs> mm. It's the most sweetest bay rum you'll ever smell. And it's a great performing soap. I have it in the vegan formula. Now, my next one would be, now this was a tough one because I actually have this scent in three or four artisans. I think three. And it's Piencenza from Sterling. Now this is an homage to uh, Aqua de Parma. Mm, so good. And the reason why I picked this Sterling because I also have this scent in uh, from Razor Rock, which is Razor Rock's Triple X. And I also have this in uh, Phoenix Products and Accoutrements, Aqua D. Now, originally Aqua D was kind of my favorite out of all the three. But since uh, PAA is discontinuing, I believe, Aqua D, that's why I picked the Sterling because it's current. Um, and the, the Razor Rock Triple X is good too. It's just... I like the performance better on the Sterling. So that was number four. And last but not least, this was a newcomer to me this year, was uh, Fuzzy Face Soaps, Monkey Farts. <laughs> it's got an awesome name. It's an awesome scent. Oh my God, it smells like, I mean, there's a hint of banana in here, but it smells so candy, candy-ish, like, mmm like lollipops and all oh guys i like my you know i like my sense either spicy or sweet and this is definitely on the sweet category but this is mm, this is good stuff so that was uh fuzzy face monkey farts it's got an awesome name my kids always laugh when i mention it to them <laughs> so that was the lowdown now post shaves was a little more difficult because i have so many post shaves but I don't know if you broke them up in categories, but I'm going to go, like, just go for it. So, as far as a splash and a post-shave, I love my Osage Rub. It's an eye-opener, let me tell you. And if you're like, I'm not a big menthol guy, and this is heavy on the menthol, but, man, this will wake you up. And it's also good as you can rub it in the old scalp. I actually dabbed some of this on my head after I got out of the shower today. So that was the Osage Rub, or Osage Rub, however you want to say it. My second would be some Thayer's Witch Hazel. And this just happens to be the cucumber, but I have it in a couple different variations. But this is good. And my next one would be pretty much any star jelly from Phoenix Artisan Accoutrement. I just picked Organism 46B, because that is my favorite scent from Phoenix. And... My next uh, post shave is a Zingari Man Nomad. I love the Zingari bombs. 
They're awesome. Now, I'm going to add one to this list to make it five because no shave easy for me is complete with a little bit of alum. And I favor the Omega alum stick. This is kind of a bonus, kind of a, you know, a, uh, a mention, a good mention, but the alum stick, which would make number five on the post shaves, even though it's supposed to be number four. So that was my four post shaves. Now, two razors. This was hard. I mean, I don't have a million razors. I have 16 razors total. Um, but, sorry folks, <laughs> I totally forgot about number three, which is three brushes. Uh, duh. Anyway, so, to re I don't know if I'm going to stick this in my video or put it at the end, but I forgot number three. Anyway, my number one brush for 2019 would have to be the Predator brush with that awesome 30 millimeter tuxedo knot in there um and then the, the handle is from rich man shaving it came with a different knot originally i put this big 30 millimeter in uh after the fact but this is my number one brush it's got that great black and green scenario so the predator brush number two would have to be my craving shaving brush um with that awesome fanchurian knot from that darn rob so that was the Craving Shaving Green and Black Brush. And one cannot forget the old boy for me is my Omega. My Omega. Woof. That's because somebody the other day said this was annoying. Anyway, it's my Simog 830 with that nice blue knot. And I've had it for such a long time. I think I've had this for going on almost three years now so that's the smog the c moog 830 so that's it there we go folks sorry i forgot the rushes but i'll probably add this in at the end of the video so have a happy new year if everybody knows me knows that the rockwell 6s I just want to make sure the name is right the rockwell 6s is my go-to razor um, I currently been on plate number five lately, so I've been on plate number five, but I vary for anywhere from three up to five. Sometimes I'll go to six, um, but you know, so it's the Rockwell 6S. That's my number one go-to razor. Now, my next razor, which I keep in this nice little zippered case here, this nice little zippered case, because it's a special razor, is the Rex Ambassador which was awesomely, awesomely gifted to me from two great individuals from the Redbeard Shave Lounge. I mean, it's kind of a toss-up between these two razors, between my Rockwell 6S and the uh, Rex Ambassador, but I use the Rockwell 6S a lot more just because it's my kind of my go-to razor. Now, an honorable mention razor and very affordable razor is the Maggard's oops, is the Maggard's V3 head. Comes in three variations. Mild, uh, standard, and aggressive. This is the uh, standard head of the Maggard's V3 head. I just happen to have it on a Maggard's uh, anodized stainless handle. But this is an honorable mention because he only wanted me to pick uh, two razors. So there goes my two. And uh, kind of three. But it was the Rockwell 6S was number one for me. And the Rex Ambassador was number two. And the honorable mention was the Maggard's V3. I mean, I have so many, but those are the kind of three that I kind of levitate to. Now, blade-wise, was a big change for me this season. Um, if you've watched my videos, you'll see that I really like the Chroma Blades. The Chroma Demont Blades. Love this blade. Last year's number one blade for me was the Balzano. But this year, it's been the Chroma. And actually, my second blade... Um, would be, and even though it's only pick one blade, but my second kind of honorable mention would either be the uh, Paul Silver Super Iridiums or I'm trying to find the container. I don't know where it happened to it, but I'll put the whole thing up here. 
or the Gillette 7 o'clock blacks. And I got the whole 100 pack here. That's the honorable mention. But my number one blade of this year is the Chrome Diamant. Oh, I put it upside down. Sorry. Chrome Diamant. So there you have it. That was my 2019 picks. Um, so, real quick, I'll just go over the soaps again real quick for you. So it was basically Organism, Organism 46B from Phoenix was my number one. My number two was Tale of Old Bond Street Grapefruit. My number three was P and Chen. I think it was P and Chenzo, but love the Aqua the Parma scent. And of course we got oh, Nomad from Zingari Man. Love that sweet bay rum. And my fourth or my fifth was the uh, Monkey Farts from uh, Fuzzy Soaps. Mm, good stuff. All right, folks. So uh, I'll try to put the links to all these products down below. If I remember to, I kind of want to get this up quick because, you know, Todd tagged me a couple days ago on this. And I'll also leave a link to his YouTube page. Um, Elmer Fudd is his uh, YouTube channel. So, uh, yeah. So I hope everybody had a great New Year, by the way, because it, it is New Year's Day today. So uh, I'll probably be doing my shave video tomorrow. So if you liked the video, thumbs up. If you didn't like it, thumbs down. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel and uh, check out uh, Todd's page, Elmer Fudd. I'll leave a link in the description below. And uh, yeah, so hopefully in a day or two, my next shave will be up. And until then, Glenn signing off. <music>